Oh man, I've never been more interested to do a video of this in my life. And uh, now, you know, look, I'm lying. It's it ranks somewhere up there, though. Okay. A better you starts today. Sydney, Adelaide, and Perth. Guess what? I'm coming to your town with my live show. If you don't see it, you'll regret it. You'll never know very niche, obscure history. It is. It's all right. I've got a piece of homework. Usually, I leave this if you're a new. Viewer, you are getting a little special treat. Here you go. Have a schmacko. This is like a little hit of heroin for free, so I get you smacked out and addicted for the rest of your life. This is what I usually leave for the end, but I want you to start with this little piece of homework before we start out, which is, do you see yourself as a main character or not? Now, proviso, of your life, of your life, are you a main character of your life? You know why this came out? It's very novel, but you know how there is the constant Twitter insult of like, oh my God, this person had main character syndrome. And I get it. I know exactly what they're talking about, I think. I don't really understand Twitter at all. So <laughs> I might just have main character syndrome about the phrase main character syndrome. Maybe, because again, I'm not really sure what main character syndrome is. And now I'm getting really nervous saying that, coming right off the bat, very confidently being like, yeah, I know what that is. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick little summary off the top of my head, not knowing that much what they're talking about. But I think that they're basically just talking about narcissism. They're talking about narcissism. They're talking about the fact that everything in the world relates back to you. What they're really saying, it's just a modern view on an old word, which is solipsism. Again, I think solipsism is the idea that the universe revolves entirely around you. Yes, that's not good. However, there is a distinction here, and this distinction is extremely important to you, the main character. Yeah, that's right. You're the Truman Show. Everybody's watching you right now. I'm watching you through this camera. My job mostly is just to distract you while your wife sits there and gets a better angle of the back of your head, just in case. So now that we've got that out of the way, we're going to go back to normal broadcasting. You're going to forget that and not be freaked out. Imagine if you were high, you'd be like, holy shit, man, I always thought that while watching that, that'd be crazy if that happened. But... Here is the rub. You, my friend, should be able to see yourself as the main character of your life and this not impinge on the whole idea of like you're the main character of the world. Now, there is a very good, really good important reason about this because they have done research into this. They have asked a bunch of people over a long period of time, do you see yourself as a main character? Do you see yourself as a supporting actor? Do you see yourself as an extra with no roles? In the character of your life, in the, in, the, in the story of your life, specifically in the story of your life. Did you know that a large percentage of this population, I think it was like around like the 40s, 50s, don't. Don't see themselves as the main character of their own story. Like how low self-esteem do you have to be? This is again one of those questions like the Obama one where you ask people like, what animal does this candidate remind you of? Which actually, I'm just very interested in this. Can you let me know in the comments? What do you think Kamala Harris and Trump are? What animals do you think they are? You know, are they like monkeys or lions or zebus or xylophones? Is that another Z sounding? I don't know. Oh, it starts with an X, that's right. But it's still an animal, obviously. A musical animal. So, they have that. It's the same kind of question. When you ask people like to put anthropomorphize a person, you get a very good understanding of what their soul is like. Over and over, this is seen. This is why you have it all throughout mythology. You have it all throughout history just all these cultures always being like and then the giraffe said to the zebra it's because that's for whatever reason we have a connection to nature it's almost as if we are animals ourselves hmm, deep. so this main character idea and this side character idea is really important apparently because it seems like people that uh, see themselves as the main character enjoy their life more they have more autonomy over their life you can guess what the list is going to be they are far more confident in their life they see their life more as in their control and simultaneously are able to dismiss the setbacks as and this is very psychologically healthy out of your hands now that is a healthy psychology now, every, every time you start saying any, like, what a selfie psychology ever, everyone goes, like, oh, there's a problem with that and that. But come on, generally, this is what you want. You want to be able to think that a lot of things are in your control, because they are. And you want to be able to think that anytime something else doesn't happen, it's kind of just like, well, it wasn't meant to be, but it'll happen at some point. Yay. That's really what you want to go through through life. Now, when I'm saying all of these things, just understand that 
Everything that you go through life in anyway is an illusion. There is very little things that you concretely know. In fact, you want to send yourself insane. This is the enlightenment exercise, apparently. I've talked about it before on this, and I've never done it before because I'm way too scared. And I've talked about it for years, so I'm just going to remind you again. If anybody out there could ever do this, and I think somebody did once write in the comments and said I couldn't do it after a while. If you could write down what you know for a fact on a piece of paper, if you could write down what you know for a fact and keep burrowing in on that, and then just you realize you know nothing. <laughs> like you can concretely say that you know nothing. Now, you want to get high, kids. That's the true path to ego death. Why am I talking about this? The point is that a lot of life is illusion. And it seems like a big, big cheat code as to how well you are going to go through your own life is whether or not you see yourself as the main character of your own life. So conditioned is the human mind to storytelling. This is why as soon as you tell any story, your mind goes into a trance. In fact, did you know this? That when it comes to Supreme Court decisions, the Supreme Court judges that are able to convince the other judges, they've noticed this, tell stories 60% more of the time than the other judges. The other judges just go to stories and fact sheets and things, but they go like, well, when I was a boy in Alabama, and then they go through it and then they say something like that, and then everyone goes, oh, okay, because it suspends your disbelief. This is how the human brain is wired. So seeing yourself as a main character of your story is a very important thing. Very important. It's actually a very healthy indicator as to your level of mental health. Conversely to what they're all saying, which is that it's like, the, it's a prover of insanity by the people on Twitter. Go figure. They probably don't see themselves as the characters of their main life. They would probably have a solipsistic attitude, you know, but like, I think that the average healthy person is able to say that there are many stories. There are many movies. You're one of them. So that's the big question that you have to take away for yourself now. Now the piece of homework, and if you really want to do this, and this is extra homework, this is for the nerds out there, and if anybody has done this in the past, because I have recommended that people do this, and I've started on mine, I'll get around to it one day, but I do go and contribute to it every now and then, and it is astonishing what happens, and people always say the same thing. When you start writing your own autobiography, you will realize all sorts of patterns in your life. You will have all sorts of connections. Like, you ever want any of these questions? Uh, what do I do with my life? Where am I going with my life? Who am I? All of those stoner, uh, oh, I'm 19, the world's deep. All of those questions. All of those questions are answered when you start writing out your biography. And if you really go into it, you just keep writing because you start to see how beneficial this is in you understanding yourself. As I'm always saying on this, writing, there is some sort of almost magical connector to the idea that when you start writing down ideas, so many good things happen. First off, it's out of your mind. It stops rattling around in there. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you start memorizing it better. The third thing is that you start clearly understanding it and you start speaking better. You are more articulate the more that you write. You will see this constantly with professional writers. They are much better at speaking than the average person. A lot of good things happen when you write things down. But writing down your autobiography, second to writing down what you know. Second to writing down what you know. So if you ever have any of these problems in your life, and everybody does go through them at points, I'm at a crossroads, where do I go from here? You will start to see that there is a story to your life. There is. And again, this doesn't really matter if it's true or not. The events are true or not. This is what your mind thinks reality is. This is the story in your head. Write it down. Write it down. And if you see yourself as the main character of that story, you're in a pretty damn good position. Off the mark. But you should be writing yourself as the main character of your autobiography. Obviously you should. If you have done this in the past, please let me know. I'd be very interested to hear the results because a lot of people say that this is the most rewarding thing that they've ever done. People that have been in canceling for like 10, 20 years say, I got more out of that than I ever got out of canceling. And of course you would, of course you would. Anyway, if you want more of these suggestions, make sure you sign up to Jordan Shanks. Hey, you can do it for free. Don't click off. I'll give you another piece of advice. 
I'll give you another piece of advice after this, but I just want you to know that you can sign up for free and I will be asking you these prompting questions that do force you to write things down, that do force you to analyze your life. It's not gonna be anywhere near as extensive as writing down your autobiography, but at least someone is prompting you with these questions so that you are directing your mind to be thinking about the things that you should be thinking about to advance, to reach your goals, to live a life that is truly writing a book about. Also, I do three extra videos a week. And I think that that would be a good point to start out, but I did promise that I was gonna give you an extra piece of advice. So let me just look at this little textbook here because let's be honest, I didn't have one available in my head at the time. All right, just remember this. If you're negative, it's because you're fearful.